The fourth research question asks us, what is your age? In this case, we're going to name this variable age. So let's type that into the name attribute column. Hit the tab key. Then as practiced before, let's decrease the number of decimals to zero. Click inside the width column. And let's decrease the width to one. Click under the label attribute. And let's type the question, what is your age? Click inside the values attribute. Now what we need to do is we're going to go ahead and associate a number with each of the groupings according to the sample survey. So let's click the gray ellipsis box in order to define what those groups are. If you all take a look at the sample survey, you'll see that question four has five different groups of age ranges that they can choose from. So in saying that, just like how we worked with our gender and applied numeric values and we define those values, we're going to do the same here instead. We're not going to use genders. We're actually going to use age cohorts. So let's take a look at question number four. And we see the first set of groupings is going to be attributed a one. So let's type in one in the values text box. Then let's go ahead and click in the label text box. Taking a look back at our sample survey, we see that a one signifies ages 19 or younger. So in the label text box, type 19 or younger. Click the add button. Now let's move on to define our second group. To do this, we need to click back in the value text box and type two. Click in the label text box and type 20 through 23. Click the add button. In the values text box, type three. Click in the label text box and type 24 through 27. We're gonna jump back to the value text box and type four. Once again, click in the label text box and type 28 through 31. Then click on the add button. For the final time, let's click back into the value text box, type five, click in the label text box and type 32 or over. Once completed, click on the add button. All right, so we have completed defining our labels according to the groups that were represented in our questionnaire. Let's click on our OK button. We're not going to go through the entire survey. You guys should pretty much have a grasp on how to define your variables and attribute necessary names to each one of your questions. We have defined our variables. We have set the corresponding attributes. The next step for us would be to actually input our raw data.